Hey, good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps keep the video in the algorithm. So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? I wanted to talk about two stories that I saw tonight that um, from out of Memphis, of course, that was interesting to me. I, I think it's worthy of, of talking about. OK, um, I, the first story I saw was um, a woman was accused of popping at juveniles after the car break in. It says police say a Raleigh woman was arrested after she fired at three juveniles she believed was trying to steal her car. Officers were called to the 3000 block of Kenneth Street in Raleigh early Sunday night after two uh, of the juveniles and their guardians reported the popping. Police said Letitia Ferguson was taken into custody and charged with three counts of reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon, and she also contacted police. So she called the police also. According to the affidavit complaint, Ferguson told investigators she saw three juveniles break into her Kia Sportage and attempt to steal it. She said she saw them walking down Kenneth Street and fired shots in the air to get them to stop. A man who lives on Kenneth and didn't want to be identified said he was outside his home with his five-year-old son when he heard multiple gunshots. My roommate was out here with us. He stood up and said, I think they were fixing to shoot. I called my son over and we heard some pops and they left. And then 30 or 45 minutes later, we heard two more pops and a loud horn. I didn't know if anything got hit. And then they were there were cops everywhere. OK, that's the street. Another neighbor said he gave police Home surveillance video that shows someone drive down his street, fire a shot, turn around, and pop another shot. Police says they found one spent 380 caliber casing in the street. The neighbor with the child said his roommate saw someone point a weapon out a car window and pop between some houses. He said all he was concerned about at the time was protecting his son. You can't just fire. Uh, shots in this city. If someone is coming into my house at my home, it's different. When someone, when you are outside and trying to get away from them, you can't do that. In Tennessee, deadly force is only justified to protect against serious bodily harm. The juveniles were not hurt. It does not appear they are facing any charges. Ferguson was released on a $7,500 bail. She is scheduled to appear in court on Tuesday. So this is what happens when you try and protect your property. We do know that, um, you know, instead of the criminals who are the car thieves going to jail, the woman who tries to protect her property, and I understand what they're saying, but I, listen, I, I do know that there are laws and you, you, you can't, I guess they're saying you can't do that. But they wouldn't have took the, you know, it, it seems like they can steal all the cars they want to and nothing ever happens to them. But as soon as somebody gets fed up and tired, okay, then something happens, okay? They take her to jail, okay? It's hard to take the juveniles and the criminals and stuff to jail. But, but you know, you take somebody to jail who... This lady has never had a history, a criminal history or anything. Okay. Um, okay. She did give a statement. I'm looking at the affidavit. She says that the incident was captured on video from uh, 3065. Kenneth officers received an additional call and uh, from Letitia Ferguson. Ferguson gave a statement that three juveniles broke into her Kia Sportage and attempted to steal it but was unsuccessful. Letitia stated that she located the juveniles walking down Kenneth and she did fire up. She did fire a shot in, at them. You know, I, that is against the law, but I ain't, I'm not mad at her. She didn't shoot. She didn't pop them. She just popped in the air. I mean, people get tired of going to work every day. 
and working for uh, other folks' kids to be able to come and enjoy ride and take it to a chop shop and all that. Um, I, if you think, if you ask me, I think it was an injustice uh, putting that lady in jail. Uh, I'm through with that. Uh, they don't put the juveniles that they try to steal a car. How come they didn't arrest him and take him to juvenile? It's on camera that they try to steal the car. Why didn't they take them to juvenile? That is what I'm talking about. It's an injustice. But you take a lady who works hard every day, who's tired of these car thieving look kids stealing. She didn't hit them. She she just fired off some warning shots. From my understanding, if the neighbors if the neighbors are telling the truth, they came back and pointed a weapon at her. How come they didn't go to juvenile? They came back and pointed a weapon out of the car. They tried to steal the car, her car. And then they came back just like she did. So they were, all of them was wrong according to the law. Why she just have to go to jail? I tell you, it ain't right. It's just not right. Now this lady got a record and she works hard every day while they're around the neighborhood stealing cars and people's cars coming up stolen. Ain't nothing happening. Okay? A travesty of justice. Okay? Okay. So. Okay, so anyways, get your ass back. I also want to talk about one more thing. Come here, Rainbow. I also want to talk about one more thing. Um, there was a young man who um got a, a butcher knife. Okay, for his girlfriend. Let let's let's read about that. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, I think people are gonna have to be more careful with what they do. Okay, this is him. It says a man is accused of S T A B B I N G his girlfriend several times with a butcher knife after she threatened to cut him with an eyebrow shaper. Kendrick Tower, this is Kendrick Tower right here, 23 years old, was arrested Sunday night in the 4800 block of Bradford Drive and charged with uh, aggravated assault and domestic assault. The girlfriend was transported to the Regional One Medical Center, Center in critical condition um, with wounds to the back, right arm, and leg, okay? Of course, he, he stabbed, okay? Police said Hightower uh, told them he and his girlfriend had been arguing earlier in the day and the fight turned physical outside his house. Investigators said Hightower admitted to going inside the home, grabbing a butcher to the knife and stabbing his girlfriend several times after she threatened him with the brow shaper. He allegedly Stabbed his girlfriend three times in the back. Hightower was also treated at the hospital pedal for non-critical injuries. Let me see what kind of history he got. Because, see, out of all things, how could he lose control like that? He could have, it seems like to me, he tried to take her out. It seems to me he tried to take her out. Now, she threatened to do something to him with an eyebrow thing. What you sharpen your eyebrows with. But she didn't do it. How could he have lost control like that? And the sad thing about it is you're probably going to go back to him so he can finish her off. Because a person that could do this can do anything, especially to a woman he's living with. Okay. And I mean, this is his first time. When I'm sitting in a computer, it's his first time. And he only got charged with, um, he got charged with a misdemeanor A and a felony C. Let's see what the affidavit said. On 9 124 at uh 2018 hours, that's eight, that's the, that would be 8 18 p.m. Officer K. Bird and Bailey responded to a wounding call per dispatcher that occurred at the front of Bradford Drive. Officers arrived, they observed Kendrick Hightower and his girlfriend, um Ken Kent Kiss Kensens. I Kessens. That's her name, Kessens. OK, um, in front of the residents, both suffering from stab wounds, Hightower and Kessens, 
um, were involved in a physical fight in front of the uh, residence. Hightower stated to officers on the scene he did not go back into the house, retrieve. Um, let's see, officers, Hightower stated to the officers on the scene he did go back into the house, retrieve a butcher from his backpack, came back outside, and stuck her. Uh, Gillespie went critical to Regional One Health with wounds on her right arm, right leg. And three in the back. Hightower was transported to Regional One Health and non-critical to treat his injuries. Hightower was read his rights, waived his rights. Hightower advised he was involved in a physical fight that stemmed from an ongoing argument from earlier that morning. The fight escalated. Gillespie put in out, pulling out a brow shaper blade and attempting to cut him. Hightower ran inside the residence, reached into his backpack, and grabbed his butcher came back outside and proceeded to start sticking her. I hope she don't go back to him. I, I hope she don't. And I know people going to say, well, she got her, 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 um, do y'all know how small those blades are that we, that you cut your eyebrows with? Cause I got them that you arch your eyebrows with. If she had wanted to do anything to him, she would have. Okay. But you go and you get a big old butcher knife and proceed to stick her three times in her back leg and arm he could have injured her really bad and she is in critical so uh he did injure her bad for her to be at a hospital in critical condition so i mean he just he lost control uh so he does not have a history but i wouldn't go back to him because anytime somebody can do that, because they had already been fighting, it seems like that's a toxic relationship anyways. So he was already mad from earlier because they fighting. They fist fighting each other. And so he loses control. Um, I believe he did try and take her out. If you could, I mean, he, I mean, if you start pop, pop, uh, poking somebody in the back, who's to say she's going to ever walk again? And you can tell he lost control because he waived all his rights, gave his statement and everything. He just, he know he lost control and he just, um, that's when a person, I, I don't even care. I done effed up. I don't, I don't even care. So hopefully he won't go back that way either. Cause I'm, she's probably more than likely toxic too. Some people are just not meant to be with each other. So he needs to go get his mind back and control his anger. Anytime you got to start pulling out something to, to, to poke at somebody the way he did, he, he stabbed her five times just because he said she pulled out a little eyebrow razor that she did not touch him with not nail time. He said she tried to cut him with. If she had been trying to, she would have. But he go and lose control like that. That's how women lose their lives and vice versa. So they're toxic for each other. But I'm sure they're probably going to go right back together until one of them unalive each other. That is how it usually ends up when uh, when people just cannot let go of that toxicity. OK, they don't know how to let it go. You know, don't be with nobody that's toxic. What's so wrong with being in healthy relationships? You know, and then they're still young. He was born in 2000, so he's still basically a darn baby. He needs to get himself some help because he might be a little crazy, okay? And I don't be wondering, yeah, but she made me mad. Yeah, but when people make you mad, you don't resort to stuff like that. You just don't do stuff like that, not unless you are mentally unstable, okay? But anyways, I I felt like that was worthy. Y'all get into healthy relationships. If you got to be fussing and fighting with somebody, I don't care what age you are, get away from that. I don't want to be with nobody that I got to be fussing and physically fighting with all of the time. People have arguments. It might end with, okay, leave me alone, kiss my ass, go on, leave me alone. And one go one way, another go the other way, but it ain't no fussing and fighting all the time. OK. That's not how it's supposed to be. But these folks don't know how to handle their emotions. They feel like they're supposed to be physically hurting each other, physically taking each other out. It's really just a barbaric, twisted thing. But hey, I digress. But anyway, you guys, I felt like that was worthy. And to the lady, I'm glad that, you know, she's out of jail. I do know that they there are laws against that. But I don't think that was fair to take her to jail and not the juveniles when they're 
on camera trying to take that lady car and they came back. The neighbor said and they pointed a gun at the car. Why didn't they take them to jail too? Okay. Because she was just trying to defend herself. She's tired of them folks. People get tired of working hard and then folks think they're going to take their stuff just like that Negro coming in front of my door. They got an air that they done made the, a house over across the street, an Airbnb. Think he going to come and take my packages in front of my door. I went and put all types of notes up on the mailbox, on the window, and on the door, and wrote a long note. I bet you came back across the street with my stuff. Okay? You're getting mad. I'm not going to... You're stealing my flip-flops and stuff that I'm ordering from different stores and stuff so you can go and sell them? Absolutely not. Okay, that makes me mad every time I think about it, my makeup and stuff that I order is on sale. Mm -mm. I don't know what he thought he was going to do with it other than what he did, and that's bring it back to me. He still ain't brought my candle holders back. He 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 lied like he didn't get them. Okay, I believe the male person put them in at the wrong door. Okay, but I bet you he, I, I, he been warned. He come back over across the street. But see, the, the, I mean, the, we got a neighborhood association. They already gone contacting the owner to get get them gone. You don't come over there and steal. You know, you don't come over here and steal. I think you're gonna get away with it. Okay. But he brought me my stuff back. Okay. He brought it back because he he realized he was he was dealing with a crazy person too. Okay, because I was mad as hell. You walk your long ass from across the street and pick up my packages. Lord have mercy. See, that's I can understand how the lady feels. Okay, I can understand. I wish she had went about it another way, but I ain't mad at her. I'm mad at the police because they didn't take the juveniles to jail. They pointed the gun at her and they on camera trying to steal her car. So it's okay to try to steal a car. I thought that that was against the law. Okay? Anyways, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App.